and the whole universe. So let's be together and enjoy this beautiful night. I come here for maybe like 30 years, every year. Always working, always yeah. with the hands inside the jewelry, yeah. Agat and Suleiman, they call it. I'm Turkish and ah. we are in India. I am from Azerbaijan. We do uh, smoked meat. We use only mango wood or jackfruit wood. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. You'll have a good time. So come. Вот эти ребята белорусы делают. 9 лет уже живут здесь. So I'm working ladies and Louis Carlson company in Hayat also. And we coated with a uh, flour egg and the breadcrumbs. People love falafel more. I already like falafel. It's improving the circulation of the blood. I'm an illustrator. This is all my work. I men for thousand, women one five. Okay. We people, we humans are slow. Всем привет! Наше большое путешествие по Индии мы с вами начнем со штата Гоа. Мы отправимся на одну крутую ярмарку, которая называется Hilltop. Эта ярмарка проводится один раз в год, и мне посчастливилось попасть в нее в первый день открытия. Вот. А в этом месте мы с вами повстречаем очень много крутых и интересных ребят, которые предоставят нам свою продукцию. Вот. И также заранее извиняюсь за свой английский язык и за перевод субтитров. И предлагаю отправиться на эту ярмарку и своими глазами все посмотреть. Чтобы попасть на фестиваль, нужно купить билет. Hello, how much? 100 рупий стоит билетик. Окей. И вам ставят штамп. Thank you very much. Hilltop. Вот, потом идем к охране, вас проверяют и уже заходим на фестиваль. Вот, и сразу же со входа здесь очень много всяких сувениров, украшений, браслетов. From Goa? It's handmade, yes? Yeah, from Mr. Pushka, I made. Pushka. Ah, it's you make this? Yeah. Everything is made. Everything. I just made. Drink it, also earrings, everything. Wow. But what's the name of this uh, stone? The stone name is Mooney Stones. Mooney Stones. Yeah. Здесь также есть кошельки, сумки, тоже все ручная работа с города Пушкар. Пушкар, yes? Пушкар. Okay. С Раджастана это все, все ручная работа. Вот, и цены начинаются от 200 рупий, 200, 300, 400, 500. Я вот взял себе вот такой, стоит 200 рупий. То есть мой муж, он э, бельгиец, мы живем в Гоа, и он э, делает деревянные вещи, и начал с игрушек из местного дерева, потому что местное дерево очень уникальное, очень экзотичное, необычное, очень красивое, натуральный дизайн. И он делает игрушки, украшения разные декор для дома okay, своими руками продаем тут на маркете на получается это базар да это базар я бы сказала это ярмарка yeah. вот ярмарка каждую не пятницу происходит тут, тут концерт дискотека еда фудкорнер все рукодельники рукоделия дизайнерская одежда и получается, все желающие могут приехать, открыть свою точку здесь и ну, продавать? Не все желающие, тут большая очередь, потому а. что тут много, слишком много желающих, и они отбирают самые интересные для их, по их мнению, продукция. Допустим, минимальная цена и максимальная цена продукции, если не сложно? А, от, ну, как украшения, от, или там брелки от 400-500 рупий до... Есть некоторые коллекционные изделия до 50 долларов. Вот самая цена, вот самая дорогая цена здесь у вас что, вот если не сложно, покажите. Я, честно, не знаю, потому что муж у нас да? главный, да, и он ставит цены, но я думаю, что, что вот, вот из серии вот этот бамбуковый самолет. Ну, он мне сразу как типа нравился. Да. Все дерево натуральное, вот это натуральные цвета такое, это тюльпановое дерево. А, само дерево прям так, это не красили? Да, это все, это натурально, тут ничего не покрашено, это джекфрут, Вау. он такой желтый. Супер вообще. Получается небольшая ярмарка, где также можно найти фудкор, где можно послушать живую музыку, купить себе одежду. Все, кстати, тоже ручной работы, сувениры, картины. То есть, я думаю, это очень классное место. И сейчас попадаем в центр этого базара. Посмотрите, очень много точек различных, просто глаза разбегаются. А здесь также можно выпить или что-нибудь поесть. Special thing, designers, not like uh, what you see in the everyday streets. And this. We are gathering in that uh, market. 
all this handmade, yes? Mostly handmade. Handmade or designed. Some people uh, make, uh, for example, clothes. They uh, buy the material and they send it here and then they stitch it here. So it's their own uh, design. Yeah, they don't just buy it and sell it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, this bazaar work only for uh, on Friday, yeah? Only Friday. Only Every Friday. week on Friday? This, this is the first week, it's the first for this season, it will be every week. Uh, when season what start happened? and when finish? No, I forgot. Now start. Now start, mm -hmm. end of you have one? Yeah. And uh, finish in the you have? April. Wow, good. I'm very really lucky. Yes, Today enjoy. Come. It's a good... Uh, maybe. Ah, yes! Yeah. So, uh, you're from India? No, I am. I live in Finland. Half year and half year in India. But for many, many years. Yeah, okay. Many, many years. I come here for maybe like 30 years, every year. What's your name? My name is Yos. Y-O-S. Yos, okay. Nice to meet you, respect nice for you. information. And enjoy your time. Thank you very and much. Thank I you. wish you will uh, get something from here. Thank you very you much. Change your mind. Yeah, you India study. will change. Ario. А Йорс рассказал, что у его учителя были дреды 4 метра. Вот, и фотографию можешь сейчас видеть. Это просто нереально. 4 метровые дреды, представляете? Вот, и сам Йорс уже приезжает сюда каждый год, уже на протяжении 30 лет. Я очень много раз слышал, что Индия притягивает людей, Индия меняет жизнь, поэтому очень многие европейцы, да и вообще жители всей нашей планеты, они очень часто переезжают сюда или приезжают просто на зимовку. Hello, uh, yeah, my name is Antonio, I'm Italian, I've been living here in Goa 26 years and this is my work. I uh, make stuff from natural materials, shells, coconut, wood, corn, bone, you know, taking stuff from nature and then making jewelry with them, you know, and um, yeah, you know, so we, we sell this here, you know, in the, in the market and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's very nice, it's very rewarding. You create this by your hand? Yes, yes, wow. all the stuff I make myself, and uh, oh, I make the model, and then the workshop will make the rest, but sure, still, always working, always yeah. with the hands inside the jewelry, yeah. Uh, what do you have special, special one? Special for the moment, I think, is like this type of new collection that I've been doing here, and then some of these, like uh, more of a, more changing, a bit of a change, you know. But yeah, yeah, nice, you know. Again, nice to work with the nature. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about price from uh, which start in uh, to the? Oh end? yeah, look, uh, I don't want to be a museum, huh? <laughs> as well, yeah. but. We have from about like 100 rupees to uh, you know 7,000 rupees. Yeah. Depends there's, there's on quality. Some, yeah, yeah. There's something for everybody, you know. Yeah, somebody it's good. can come and can buy something from the nature. Yeah, you know. So it's nice they can take yeah. home a bit of nature. А эти кольца сделаны из кокоса. How much one? Uh, these ones 100 rupees. 100 rupees stoyed. Yeah. Oh, you, you have paid here, yeah? Oh, sweet. И здесь также можно расплачиваться с помощью телефона, с помощью Paytm. Вот очень, кстати, красивые изделия, и большинство из них из кокоса. Все ручная работа тоже реально очень круто. Afghanistan, can I take? Yes, yes, yes. It's original uh, color? Yes, yes. It is, uh, you know, Lapis Lazuli, you get only three mines in the world. Uh, one is in uh, Chile, South America, one is in Russia, and uh, one Afga Afghanistan is the number one because they call it uh, blue peacock, uh, blue knight. 
Wow. It's no way, only Afghan. Because other, other is dark, it's um, different blue. Yeah. And that's a long time ago I cook, no? Because I, I came uh, over land. With my own car from Italy. Wow. So it was a good time, no? To, yeah, don't buy it to be. I just buy because it's... Uh, you know, you are, you are attraction to the stone. You are attraction to the things. You don't decide what you decide. Sometimes, you know, you want, but then you know, there is another stone which they call you. Because you, you, the, call, the stone call you. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Agat Suleiman, they call it. Suleiman? It's from Arabic country? Suleiman Agat, yes. Because, why Suleiman? Because, you know, Suleiman is perfect. No? Yeah. And you still love this stone. Because I go by logical, I, I never read the book, I don't know. Eh? Yeah. But why they call it Suleiman? Because I think Suleiman has such power to this stone and we see so many things. Yeah. This is why the name is that. It's from Turkey? This is, uh, no, this is coming from uh, in, uh, this kind of stone, grown near Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, uh. Uh, all this area, Uzbek, this area, because yeah. the mine, this is Agat. This area very powerful for uh, Agat. Hello, my name is Pinkpong. What's your name? My name is Turao. What are you doing here with your little beautiful camera? I shoot a video about this interesting place. Since when are you in Goa? Sir? How long are you in Goa? Uh, I'm in Goa like four days. <laughs> you look fresh. Yeah, because... You're wonderful, stay fresh, we love you. <laughs> Thank we need you. people like you. Thank you very much. Now you can ask me what you want to ask me. I want to ask you... Uh, you are a singer, yeah? I, I'm an actor. I, go I play the singer. I'm not singer. I'm an what? actor. Wow. I want to know something about you. Okay. About your life. Uh, what about this music? Which kind of this music? Uh, style this music? Uh... It's African music. We yeah. play, we use African instruments. So African drums and African cowbells, and we play basic rhythm from Africa. It's not African music, but the instrument is African, and the feeling, the knowledge, basic. Yeah. Like roots, the roots of popular music is from Africa. Funk music, reggae music, Latin music, disco music wow. is all based on African rhythm. So we use African instrument to make funk and disco and reggae and all this. Are you living in India? And you have a concert here in some restaurants, some bars, yeah? I'm coming to this place since 45 years. You understand? Yeah. 45 years. I'm an original hippie. Wow. From the first time the hippies come. I still live over there where we arrived half a century ago. Wow. Yeah. I'm an artist. I live half year. Half year I live in Germany because of visa and mosquito. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah everybody yeah. likes that. Yeah. So half a year I'm a hippie here and half a year I'm a hippie in Germany. Yeah. Good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now I can find hippie here. You find was... me? Yeah, but... Uh... You find some young hippies, very yeah. few old. Ah. The old all die or go to sleep or have enough money they go to Hawaii. Ah, yeah, Hawaii is better. Isn't it? Yeah, it's more expensive and clean. You know, I don't like clean and expensive. I love Goa. Oh, yeah. Uh, what you can say about this market? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a musician. Yeah. It's first I don't need market. It's first time? Yeah. No, the, the market first time is the first day this year. Uh -huh. But I come here, I know everybody. Yeah. I'm for half a century, 45 years, I know everybody. 2019, this is the moment we've been waiting for to actually see your beautiful faces and entertain you, the stallholders, ourselves and the whole universe. So let's be together and enjoy this beautiful night. Our band's name is Primal Beats and I take the chance to uh, introduce the band. On your very left, on percussion, please give a big hand to the beautiful Star Danny. Thank you. In the middle, in the center of the action, is the Sister Coco on percussion. Big hand for Sister Coco. My name is Ping Pong, I play the Ding dong, just like a King Kong in a sing song for you. Please enjoy, thank you.
невероятная группа, ребята заряжают таким позитивом, вообще очень круто, особенно вот инструмент, на котором он сейчас играет, вообще очень круто. You can say something about your food court? Uh, yeah, it's a Burmese cowsway. It's a curried noodles dish made out of coconut, uh, uh, coconut cream and chicken or vegetarian broth. And then it's topped with a bunch of condiments and you have your choice of mushroom, pro uh, tofu, chicken or prawn on top of it. It's my second year, it's lovely. It's been, uh, we've all been looking forward to it, it's been amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it's been, uh, this is something we all look forward to. It's a sense of community, it has uh, family, entertainment, everything, you know? And it, it really works, it's a big change. What's your name? My name is Eddie. Eddie. Eddie is Kasway. Ah, yeah. Точно, ребят, здесь написано вот, да. Thank you very much, Eddie. Thank you. Why not? Индийская кухня. Hi. What you can say about your food court? North Indian food. Proper North, authentic North Indian food. This is in North India. Yeah. Uh, from which city? He's from uh, Delhi, Punjab, Haryana. Yeah, yeah. Punjab. Wow, it's, it's, it's very beautiful. It's, uh, foreigners, people, is very like it. Yeah, because for us it's something interesting, you know? Yeah, something is very delicious and good for health. Yeah, because maybe in our country we don't have Indian kitchen. Uh, maybe we have, but it's not original like from here, you know? Yeah, here? Uh, from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan? Yeah, yeah. And you cook by yourself, yeah? Yes, I am a chef in W Hotel, it's a star world brand. Ah, Street okay. Yes. So I am working at Edison Lewis Carlson Company in Hayat also. I have degree also. I am HM Dehradun in wow. Dehradun. And you take time to come to Goa for this bazaar, for no, this no, market? No. I have a restaurant in near Mango Tree. Ah, okay. It's 200 meters. This is Suvaki, but I'm Turkish and ah. we are in India. Ah, merhaba. And I'm catch... from Azerbaijan. Okay, <laughs> you catch the irony. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is pork Suvaki, this is Thank chicken Suvaki, enjoy it. And this is Greek way and this is Turkish way. It's like a kebab. Yeah, shish kebab. Shish kebab. We call it shish kebab, but you know, people here they usually call it souvlaki. What do you can say about this market? I love this market. I love this market, definitely. It's first time here? No, it's not second time. Okay. I was, I'm here since the beginning. Oh, it's good. Mamma May at the Taiska Ida. Hello. Uh, can I shoot a video? Wow. Uh, can you say something about your food? It's Thai food? Thai food is it? Oh, my homemade. I make a homemade sauce, all the ingredients are homemade. And wow. Yeah, I make everything clean. Actually, I wash everything with the drinking water. I'm from Thailand. Thailand? <laughs> I will go to Thailand after uh, one month, maybe. Okay, where? Uh, after one month. Where? You go? where? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm from the mainland. Wow, good. Now, okay, this is the sauce, potato sauce. What, what, potato? Pad Thai sauce. Oh. The sauce for Pad Thai. Wow. This looks so tasty. Where are you from? I am from Azerbaijan. Yeah. What can you say about this market? I love this market. It's lovely. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Like a family, no? Yeah, like a one big family. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Burrito Boys. This is Burrito Boys. Как ни странно. Вау, тоже все очень вкусно выглядит. Started last year, we do uh, smoke meat. We use only mango wood or jackfruit wood for uh, cooking of the meat. But it's uh, because of smoking, it's at very low temperature, so it's very uh, slow cook. Like the chicken cook for about four hours. When we do pork, it's wow. like at least eight, probably more like 10 or 12 hours. Uh, if we do beef brisket, it's going to take 16 hours. Wow. It's very slow cook, but then you get the flavor of the, of the smoke really yes. imbues in. But then also I make all my own marinade, I make all my own barbecue sauce. Is, uh, so it's something you cannot get anywhere else. Uh, but you're from where? It's, it's... I'm originally from Canada, but I've been living in Goa five years. Yeah. So uh, we start our company, we open our little cafe in a few days in wow. Chapora. Yeah, I wish you good luck. I'm from Azerbaijan and we have like a tandoori, you know? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, also yeah, yeah. like this, uh, you put some meat inside yeah, the clothes. Yeah, the, the fire is right there. The yeah, 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 much inside. faster, much faster. Yeah, it's but it's, it's like the same because it's also you can, uh, you you can taste the smoke. the of the meat, yeah, of, yeah. This, of, the, of the wood. Just, the fire is just here. Yeah. <laughs>
So you just get the heat goes through, just the smoke. Uh, why you make a uh, fire in not inside but a different place? Because if, like the a fire is, if the fire is inside, then it gets much hotter, and you don't have the time for the smoke to really give the flavor. Ah. This way, it takes time. It's slow. It's slow, and then you get uh, the most tender, the best tasting meat. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, we, what work hard, we work hard to try to do the best, uh, the best barbecue I think in Goa, for sure. Yeah, go up probably India. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, what you can say about this market? It's your first time here? No, I started uh, this first year. Uh, or is this the second year? I started with them very first market last season. It was very good for us. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a nice atmosphere. It's not full of the package tours, you know. It's people who come here because they love the stuff that's on that's available. Wow. I get people who come here just to get my sandwiches. Yeah, it's good. Thank you very much. For You're welcome, Thank man. You. Thank you. Now we are selling like a fish and chips, fresh fish from the market. Every morning we It's buy. fish? Yeah, it's a fish. It's a big fish fillet. We uh, make it in the parts, like a yeah. small fish fingers. And we coat it with a uh, flour, egg and the breadcrumbs yeah. with some uh, spices in, for marination. Yeah. And chips and the tartar sauce, sauce made by a chef Fritz from Switzerland. Wow! How much is this one? Is it? 400 rupees. Uh, we include a salad also, but the order without salad. So yeah. There is no salad. Okay. Would you like to try some? Thank you very much. Hi, so uh, we are Bean Me Up. Bean Me Up is like one of the first uh, vegan plant based restaurants that started in uh, India and in Goa. And we try to source all our products locally. We try to use as much organic produce as possible and try to do a very ethical business. So if you're ever in Goa and if you're, please come by. Pin me up. That's I'm sure you won't be disappointed. You'll have a good time. So come. Самым большим плюсом ярмарки является то, что все люди очень добрые, все отзывчивые, все улыбаются, и здесь реально такая атмосфера, как будто ты пришел в большую семью. Здесь нет такого чувства, что тебе хотят что-то продать. Здесь реально хотят больше рассказать про свой продукт, дать тебе попробовать. То есть реально люди хотят поделиться своим продуктом, а не продать, чтобы просто заработать деньги. Вот это очень круто, и знаете, здесь очень теплая атмосфера. Блин, аж хочется приезжать каждый год. and hummus, so much mushroom and like we invented new dishes like potato wedges and shakshuka sandwich. It's like you know people love falafel more already like falafel and we got like proper coffee machine here. Wow it's so beautiful. Electra coffee machine. Ele yeah and like we got like proper coffee like cappuccino latte americano and cortado espresso and it's like you know uh, amazing coffee, people love it. Yeah. And that's why we call like Arjuna. So we got a cafe in Anjuna. Yeah. And yeah, that's all. And we got like nice pastries. We got our own bakery. We got our own bakery. Like we got eclairs, cheesecake, croissants. That's amazing stuff we got. Uh, what do you have special? Something special, one. Uh, we are specialists in coffee. Coffee? Yeah. It's number one, yeah? So this is the amazing. So we brought up a cafe with the coffee. With the coffee. Yeah. So this is our main special thing, you know, we, which we have, which we draw people to us, is like, you know, with the coffee. Like, coffee is amazing. It's also look amazing, you know? Yeah. А здесь такой вот уголочек одежды, здесь еще можно купить себе такую сумочку на пояс. Roots Original. Вот, кстати, это ребята белорусы делают, 9 лет уже живут здесь. Вот, но решили остаться инкогнито, к сожалению. Вот, говорят, что такие вот сумочки около 20 долларов стоят. Вот, это натуральная кожа, все сделано здесь в Индии. Футболочки полторы тысячи рупий примерно. Вот, также есть такие вот курточки легкие. 
получается самая дешевая вещь около 20 долларов, самая дорогая 50 долларов. Здесь футболки, свитшоты, сумки и вот такие вот кепочки прикольные, кстати, есть. The idea of the separate toe comes from China, from Chinese acupuncture, because when you separate the big toe from the small toes, from the, the other four, it's improving the circulation of the blood. Except for this part, this is uh, good for walking, this is very uh, flexible, it feels like a socks with a sole. Yeah, that's what makes it so nice, and also it's very light. But in this case, we're talking about a very strong shoe, which you can dance with it all night. Yeah, it's very good for dancing, basically. Okay, uh, you have uh, for men and for women also, eh? It's the same or something different? All sizes, all sizes. All sizes. Uh, all what do you have some special? The, these are special. This is number one, These yeah? are special, these are special. What about price? Oh, the price, okay. It's, uh, the price is between uh, in dollars or in rupees? Dollars, good. In dollars, yeah, yeah. okay. The price will be between 50 to 70. Dollars. Yeah. Yeah. It's handmade or from fabric? No, 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 no. Fabric. It's made by a machine. By machine. Very tight, very good. Last long time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your name and where you're My from? My name is Eyal. Uh, are yeah. you from where? I'm from Israel. The shoe is from Japan. Wow, it's good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Most okay. likely. You have your gallery here in Go yes, or I have some a shops? In Arpora. It's called Studio Arpora. Uh, we've been open for two years. Me and my mother started it. And yeah, that's me. Wow. Здесь же на ярмарке можно постричься, можно сделать какую-то прическу, укладку. Вот. И получается здесь есть мастера. Вот. И перед вами сейчас мастер делает прическу одной женщине. Вот. И цены. Uh, what about price? How much? Huh? How much is this? What about price? Uh, men for thousand, women one five. Okay. Получается, мужчина тысяча рупий, а девушки тысяча пятьсот. Thank you very much. market for you what you feel here something people important. have to make money no people have to make money I'm not interested in market we should make more love than market but I understand many people need to make money and they want to be free so they make jewelry clothes food in their way not control free and sell here it's a hard life I respect but I don't need market I never do market. I'm a clown. I'm a dancer. I love party and market is no party. Yeah. Market is material. You know, I'm a non-material artist, but respect to the people who have to do. Yeah.
but still the food they give plastic fork. Oh. Ah, you understand? I say why? She give uh, food from Thailand. In Thailand, you eat with chopsticks. Yeah. I say you have chopsticks. No, just plastic fork. Oh. How where, about? Where can I buy? She says. I say, come on, you can make uh, your chopsticks yourself. Bamboo chaka cha. She says. Ah. <laughs> so people are we people? We humans are slow. Yeah. Me too. We people are all slow. We learn slowly. Yeah. And we pay fast. So we buy and buy and then we don't know what to do with the fucking garbage. <laughs> so this is a big problem. Goa has like the whole world a big uh, environmental garbage problem. Now it's getting better, but still this hippie market, they give plastic fork. Difficult, no? Yeah. So she said next time. So next time I come and uh, I look and if she brings something different, I say, good sister, nice, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you for the change, yeah. we need it. Uh, now you live here, yes, in Goa? Yes. Come and visit me tomorrow. Well, uh,